We are going to be doing a fun project for spring. My friend Olivia said she wanted some ideas for how to decorate for spring and I think nothing says more like spring than potted plants. We're going for kind of a layered look. I'm using three different colors of DIY paint today. I'm using DIY in Gravel Road Old School White Swan. And we're doing a layered technique on these terracotta pots that we picked up at Ikea, but I bet you could pick them up just about anywhere, Walmart, your local hardware store, or a craft store. The very first thing we did is to get some variation. Zeb used the orbital sander and he sanded these all nice and smooth. There's a few spots, high spots and low spots, but it'll give us some natural variation. The first color that we're using is DIY paint in gravel road. And I'm going to get my brush wet because I just want to lightly go over the whole piece with it. And if your brush isn't wet, then it's too thick. You can see I'm just kind of doing a gray wash on the whole piece. It, and it really doesn't take much paint since we're doing a gray wash. I'm using my same paint pixie brush. This is the one and a quarter that you can get at jamierayvintage.com. I didn't mention that earlier. Um, and I'm using the same brush. I kind of like to do that when I do these kind of projects. So I'm not like washing brush after brush after brush. And I'm doing the dark undertone. Can you see that there? And it just adds some depth. And when we seal it, that will come out a little more. And what I'm using for that is DIY and old school. Mine's almost gone, but it doesn't, it doesn't take much. And I'm just kind of damping my brush and then wiping off the excess and you can see that the brush has like high and low spots so this is a really good brush to do this with because you'll get some imperfections and i'm just going to kind of use it kind of like you would do a sponge and like randomly go all over i kind of like to do it all around the bottom where dirt would build up and then a few spots in the middle and along the top how you do it is completely up to you i mean just whatever looks good Okay, I'm gonna let that dry and then we're gonna go to our last painting step and then after that we will seal them and fill them with flowers. The last step that I'm using is I'm using DIY paint in White Swan and I'm getting most of the paint off of my brush because we're gonna dry brush. And you're just gonna kind of come through and go back and forth and then just go all the way around and then you'll need to reapply your brush to get most of it off. I use my towel to get it off, whatever you've got. And then just dry brush in a cross pattern. And you could really dry brush whatever direction you want. I just like the way this looks. I feel like it gives it kind of a soft texture. Okay, so this is done. We've got our gravel road underneath in like a gray wash. Then we stippled on the old school with the end of our brush. And then we used white swan in a cross hatch dry brush pattern and it gives you some good texture. The next thing we're gonna to wanna to do because this paint is water-based and you don't want it to come off if you have to clean it, is we're going to seal it and we're gonna be using Sweet Pick and Sealer, but you could also use Liquid Patina by DIY, would also be a good one. You just want something matte because you don't want to shine on your pots. Our last step for these pots is I'm gonna use my Wooster three inch foam brush that I have from Amazon. You could really apply it with a small craft brush too, especially since it's a little craft project. And I'm just gonna come across and seal it. And you can see when I seal it, it brings out all the different layers as well as the bottom layer. It makes it look a little less muted and brings out all the tones and layers that we just put on there. I'm just gonna do one coat of sealer because it's just a craft project. You could do two, but one is sufficient. You know you've covered it when the colors get nice and dark and rich. Okay, that's it. I'm gonna let that dry and I'm gonna do the same thing to all my pots. That very last step is I'm gonna fill it with floral foam and do a little floral arrangement. So I thought once we sealed it, we would be ready for flower arranging, but it's still a little bit too stark for me. And if you look over on this one that I already arranged, I used black wax. So I'm gonna show you how to add that extra step. And I definitely would do it after you seal it. So that way you, it's not, you, know, you can move it around a little better. If you do black wax directly on the paint, it just gets really dirty and it's harder to manipulate. So I'm just using DIY black wax in my wax brush. And you don't really need a lot, so I wipe most of it off. And you're just gonna kinda just wherever you wanna add a little 
detail like along the top or on the middle. And then I like to take it and go this way and that way. That way it's not like just streaky. I'll just do a little bit so you guys can see it. If it's too much, you can also wipe it off. And if you've sealed it, that's where it comes in handy because you can really manipulate it and really see how it just softens it a little bit so it's not so harsh. If you hadn't already sealed that, it wouldn't wipe off. It would just stay on there and like soak into the paint. So that allows you to manipulate it a little bit more and it gives you more of a dirty look. And I can do the same thing on this one. Just kind of smear that wax around. And you don't need to reseal it because the wax is a sealer and just kind of softens it. So once that last step is done, you're ready to start filling your pot with foam. I've just used foam from the dollar store. This is actually the foam made to get wet and I just bought it because it was the right size I needed. Any foam will do. Um, I think for all three pots that I'm doing, it cost me $4 in foam. And I bought $35 in flowers from Michaels. Zeb will show you the receipt at the end so you can see all the pricing. And I always tend to buy a little bit more than I need. That way I can pick and choose and I can always return what I don't use. All right, so I'm taking my biggest one and I'm poking it right down in the middle. I'm gonna fluffing it out there. And then I bought these medium sized ones. These are the ones that are $3.99. I think on sale they were $2.39. I'm just going to put one of those here. Make sure I take the tags off as I go. I don't like to take the tags off beforehand because I might not be using all of them. And then I'm going to put them here. Okay, once you get your middle going, then you're just going to fill around. These are the really cheap little ones. And when you take off the bottom, they're just individual picks. So they're really good for filling in. covering up your foam I just I bought a huge bag of moss and I don't think you'd need this much but we're gonna need some for another project I just figured it was less expensive to buy it all in once and you're just gonna stuff that around the sides and I guess if you were worried about kids pulling it out you could probably hot glue it in there but I just don't really mess with my stuff too much but we need another pick all the spots. There we go. Tab off. All right, we're all done. Be sure to stay tuned because Zeb's going to give you some close up shots of these as well as a picture of my receipt from Michael so you can see exactly what I purchased there. We don't have the IKEA receipt because I sent Zeb to the store and he lost it. But um, the, I think the pots were like, what, Zeb, $5.99? I paid $14 for everything. $14 for the three pots. So there you have it. Um, really inexpensive project all around. Much less expensive than buying them all done. And you can get exactly what you want. Here's the product breakdown. I used White Swan. I used Old School and Gravel Road. I used my Paint Pixie one and a quarter brush and I sealed it all with the top coat. And then I used the DIY black wax and a wax brush. All of those items you can get at jamierayvintage.com. The pots were purchased from Ikea. The floral was purchased at Michael's and the foam was from our local dollar store. These are gonna go downstairs in the basement on our new coffee table. If you've been following along, you saw us do it live and then I completely redid the whole thing. So if you wanna see how it turns out and how it's staged, definitely stay tuned for the pictures. Be sure to give us a thumbs up Comment below with any questions you have or any ideas you might have for spring decorating. That's what we're gonna be doing over the next few weeks. And be sure to subscribe to Jamie Ray Vintage for more DIY.